It's a really good opportunity just to sit down and reflect on your own teaching. Um, you'd be surprised, like sometimes you think you're not doing a great job, but when you actually sit down and, and work through what you're doing, um, it really brings to light like all the fantastic things we do in teaching. It makes us think about how we can do it better. And so even if you're not um, keen about doing awards and stuff, just take the time to reflect and you might be surprised what you can pull together. Think about the whakatauki, the kumara doesn't talk about its sweetness and so it is a really big space to step into. I think the main thing would be think you've been nominated for a reason, whatever that reason is, try and uh, keep focus on what it is that you're passionate about in terms of teaching and hopefully that will bring your um, nomination through in terms of words. The process was enjoyable. Uh, it, was, it was enjoyable because the criteria and the guidelines sort of were clear. The information session that Ako Aotearoa had for the, the nominees was, was very helpful. Having a word limit of 4,500 words was tricky, but really also quite boundaried. And so going back and having a look at the uh, criteria was really helpful. I went and looked at learner feedback and I, the main thing was talking to my colleagues to get their tautoko to complete this and it allowed me to really, really think deeply about, you know, what is it that I like about teaching? Um, what is it that I, what are the things that I do well? You know, how are the ways I can improve? Okay. Um, what is my contribution to my community? And um, it's something, even though I felt a bit whakamaya doing it first, I think it's a really worthwhile exercise. And it's through those reflections, you're able to really understand uh, uh, more concretely what works and what's not working.